Welcome to the basic Excel screen. Now although this video will be based on Excel 2013, there's not a lot of differences between 2013 and 2010. So let's start at the beginning. Let's start at the top. This is your basic Excel screen. So let's go through what you are currently seeing. So if we start at the top there, at the top you'll see the quick access bar. Now the wording isn't that important for me. For me the most important thing is to understand what this do. So this is sort of a shortcut bar where you can either insert more items. So here you can see there's a drop down list. It says customize quick access bar. I go into it and you can select a few. So I can insert quick print and you can go on. You can even have more commands which will show you all the current commands that you're seeing. So this is a shortcut for commands you know you use a lot. So it's very handy to use. So I would advise inserting that because it saves you a bit, bit more time. The next thing you see is the toolbars. So you see home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view. You might not see developer toolbar, but that's something you can insert. We're not going to go through it now, but you, you will get to this when you do the advanced course. And you might have an add-ins. So the most important ones is, is the ones up until view. And then you've got file. So file is effectively just options. So let's go through this and just give you a description of what these toolbars actually does. So on your home toolbar, you'll see options. So every single one you select, you'll see different options. So you can stand on it. So the one thing you must understand about Excel is Excel will always try to help you to understand what you need to do. So if I just stand on one of these options, then it will give you a description of what it will do. So every single one of them. So this is how you're going to learn Excel a bit more. So your home toolbar is mostly formatting. So all of this is basically formatting of how you want to let the spreadsheet look. So we're going to go through some of them in a bit more detail in, in the later units and you can also find auto sum there and find and replace. So the editing parts here isn't really formatting but most of them is just formatting. Insert is exactly what it says. So you can insert pivot tables, graphs, you can insert symbols, pictures, there's different things you can actually insert here. So this is a nice thing where you can just find a lot of things to insert. So we'll go through a few of them later. Then page layout, exactly what it says. So this is how you want to let your page look. So we can either include themes, so we can do a few there. You can see how your printing looks. You can even go into the page setup and see how printing looks. So it's a lot to do with printing the specific page. So it's what the description says, page layout. So it's how your page will look when printed. So you will mostly use the printing function there, which we'll do later on in more detail. Formulas. So this is basically all the formulas you can find. So what's nice about this, you can go into every single one of these options and it will give you all the formulas that you can use under that specific category. So you can just stand on one of them and it, it will show you exactly what it does. So this is also a way how you can determine what the formula will do. So can you see everyone has got quite a few formulas you can actually use. And there's even more you can get. You can also find your name manager here and you can do some formul formula auditing here. In your calculation, we either put calculation off or on. Then data. Now this toolbar relates to data, where you can filter, you can sort, and text to columns also there. And some of your most popular things you might use is what if analysis and your list. So it's got everything to do with data. How do you see your data? How do you input data? You'll find it here. Then if you go to review, so this is how do you review data. So for example, we can protect our sheets for you. Yeah. We can also do spelling. We can check our dictionary. You can even insert comments. So the comments is also a nice feature you can find there. 
then view is how do you see your spreadsheet so we can see that's effectively what you are seeing in front of you then you can also find free space that's probably the most popular one you can find there then I'm not going to do the developer and add-ins so that's your toolbars and that's how you find your toolbars you find it on top so if you go to file you just find sort of a back end where you can either open or close or protect something so let's go to the next one so if I go to the next line you'll see a block here so that is effectively what's used to insert data so we're going to do inserting of data later but that's called the formula function bar and this just shows you what's in the specific cell you're on and this is the cell name so everywhere I click it will show me the cell name if we go down and we'll go through the what the cells means and what the descriptions means and how do you determine what is what in, in later units so at the bottom here you'll see the sheet so currently it's sheet 1 you can add more and you can even rename them but we'll, we'll do that later and then at the bottom here you'll see the zoom function and then you've got other options here so if I do insert data and I select them you'll see options here as well which you can we can edit as well and put in more things so at this stage is showing me that I'm selecting the 3 it's got a total of 9 I'm selecting 3 and the average is 3 so that's basically what you are seeing in front of you so what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you what does this mean because now you'll know where to find certain things in Excel but now how do you use it so that's that's the next important thing is how to use it and how to actually apply it to the specific things you are seeing.